today we're adding yet another tool to our arsenal to encourage the community to protect not just themselves, not just those around them from the virus, but everybody in this county who may need a hospital bed and anybody in this county who may be affected by variants getting worse and worse as we allow the virus to spread. And so we're announcing that starting today, anyone who gets their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine from Harris County Public Health will receive $100. The $100 incentive program is working. So my national plan to pay people $1,000 will work even better. Our government should pay everyone $1,000 to get vaccinated and pay those already vaccinated. See this petition for details. And for an added incentive, the federal government should pay an additional $1,000 if within a month the U.S. surpasses the percentage of the population vaccinated in Canada. Paying people to get vaccinated works. Listen to how Harris County vaccination rates have increased and then listen to how those rates have increased even more. If anyone tries to tell you that there's nothing you can do to persuade them to get the COVID-19 vaccine, tell them they're wrong. And we have the facts to prove that over the past week, we've seen an overwhelming response to our vaccine incentive program. It's a win for the people of Harris County, and it's a much needed boost to the healthcare workers that have been working day after day, seeing tragedy, unnecessary tragedy in their hospitals. And so many families that continue to struggle with this virus. Here's some details and some context. For the three weeks prior to the start of our cash incentive program, our public health department administered an average of 431 first doses per day. The same day we announced the program, the number of first doses almost doubled to 914. The next day, Wednesday, 1,596 people sought a first dose. And it's just gone up from there. On Saturday alone, over 2,700 people, a 529% increase, sought a first dose from Harris County Public Health. This is an incredible achievement. And I want to thank commissioners who supported this initiative, Commissioner Adrian Garcia and Commissioner Rodney Ellis. To deal with this surge, we're taking action. Starting today, we're opening an additional mass vaccination site. The way you get the vaccine, along with the $100 cash incentive, remains the same. Show up, register online, get your vaccine, receive $100, $100 cash card for the vaccine. Just talk a little bit about, you know, after months of closing vaccine sites, what's it feel like to actually open one back up? Oh, I'm relieved, I'm grateful, and I'm proud of this community. I'm so proud of this community. We're in a tough time. We continue to see record numbers of hospitalizations across our region, but we also have a, a, a light, a light to get us out of this, and that is the increased participation in vaccination sites. So I hope this continues. I hope people continue to take advantage of this because to the extent that folks get the vaccine, that's our ticket out of this crisis for good. Did you think it would lead to you opening up another site? You know, we were hoping we'd have a positive response from the $100 incentive, but we weren't sure what we were going to see. And we had an inkling that something was going right. When I started my announcement at noon, and by the time I was done, 30 minutes later, there was a line of cars waiting to receive the vaccine. We hadn't seen those lines in months. And so it's great if that's what it takes wonderful. That's how you make good policy. You have to be creative. Uh, we're seeing the results. And so we're, we're doubling down on it. And, and so you could show up, get your hundred dollars, and we're going to continue working on making this initiative a success. I want to start first by thanking people across Harris County for stepping up and getting the vaccine in the way they're doing. Over the past week and a half since we started our hundred dollar incentive program, the numbers have been incredibly encouraging. Just Tuesday, Alone, this past Tuesday, Harris County Public Health vaccinated over 3,400 people in one day. That is a 706% increase to the daily vaccination rates we had before the incentive program. So we are on a roll, Harris County, but the work is not done. We still have a ways to go to vaccinate enough of our population. We still have 70% uh, of the population 
that is eligible having received a first dose, and only uh, 58% of the entire population having received a first dose. So we've got a ways to go, and that is reflected in our hospitalization numbers. So in response to all of this today, I want to announce that we are extending our incentive program county-wide beyond the Harris County Public Health sites. Starting today, we're expanding our incentives program to include folks who are getting vaccinated with any provider in Harris County. For example, if you get vaccinated with a, phar a pharmacy, with your doctor, all you have to do is go to readyharris.org or call 832-927-8787 and make a claim for your $100. This applies to any Harris County resident who gets their COVID-19 vaccine with any provider in Harris County between now and August 31st. Here's how it works. You live in Harris County and you get your vaccine with a Harris County provider, irrespective of who it is. Then you visit readyharris.org or you call 832-927-8787 to submit your claim for a $100 cash card or virtual cash card. In other words, if you get your vaccine, and visit readyharris.org or call 832-927-8787 to claim your $100, you will receive either a physical cash card or a virtual cash card, whichever one you prefer. You can also get your vaccine within Harris County Public Health sites or City of Houston Public Health sites, and you won't have to submit a claim. I want to remind folks, Time is running out. There are only five days to do this. We're doing this program between now and August 31st. So tell your friends, tell your family, get vaccinated and claim your $100. Part of the reason why the surge in COVID hospitalizations is so dangerous is because it limits our ability to respond to non-COVID medical issues in our community. Irrespective of whether there's COVID or not, we have heart attacks, we have strokes, and we have hurricanes. We have tropical storms where people may get hurt. And so as you think about and try to explain to yourself why you don't have a vaccine, remember these are the kinds of impacts you're having on your larger community. Every person who is unvaccinated is contributing to the spread of the virus and contributing to the hospitals being at the very, very edge where we're out of beds, we're out of nurses. So yes, we're, we're stretched short. Yes, it's going to be harder this year to respond to non-COVID medical emergencies, but that is entirely in our hands. If you're unvaccinated, that is squarely in your hands, so help us out. And we do have nurses coming to our region. We approved $30 million in Harris County to do that. The state has sent more nurses. We're still stretched very, very thin, but we're doing everything we can, and we need everybody who's unvaccinated to do their part.